what is going on guys so today i'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade your 27 inch imac this is gonna be the redesigned model so i do have plenty of space or plenty of slots to actually upgrade if we simply go up here go to about this mac i see here right now i have eight gigabytes of ram running on my machine so if i go to more info here and if i go up here to memory we do see that we have four memory slots on our 27 inch imac now i'm actually going to be upgrading this using the corsair vengeance 16 gigabytes of ddr3 ram now this is going to be the 1600 megahertz it's going to be two eight gigabyte sticks so by upgrading with corsair ram i'm actually going to be saving myself a couple hundred dollars opposed to going through apple and upgrading it through them they are really ripping you off to be honest so if you want to save a couple hundred dollars go ahead and check out this corsair ram this great ram i'll leave all the links down below where i picked it up i actually picked it up for about 80 dollars on amazon so i'll leave the link down below you can actually purchase some for yourself i definitely recommend corsair so go ahead and check it out but anyways let's go ahead and get started so first we're going to of course have to power off our imac and then we'll have to simply unplug the power cord right here because we do have a little hidden button that little button if we simply press on this i actually used a little mini screwdriver i didn't know what to use so simply press on there you kind of have to press a little hard but once you do press it you do see this little flap open up right above it and this is where we will actually store our ram so pulling off this little cap here we will reveal our memory slots for our ram so it's very easy to upgrade your RAM. Simply push these little tabs outward and then you will have the little memory slots of your RAM pop down. And now what we have to do simply is pull out the RAM from the slots. Once you do have your old RAM removed from your iMac, we are ready to put in our new Corsair Vengeance RAM. So before actually installing these, be sure to line up the little slots down there at the bottom with of course your iMac because one side is smaller than the other you have a little split right there so be sure to actually align it up correctly so we'll simply have to just insert it it doesn't matter what slots you put them in because it's all going to be the same thing so don't worry about what slot you put it in i'm just going to go ahead and put it in the bottom two and then i'll be good to go be sure you push them in correctly and they snap on securely and then once you're done with that we'll simply pull up this back into place and these little tabs will snap back into place now we are ready to go ahead and push back the little flap thing that we pulled out now to simply test this out to see if this is working fine we'll have to go ahead and plug in the power cord and go ahead and press the on button and get this fired up now once your computer has booted up we'll simply go back into about this mac and then we do see we have 16 gigabytes successfully installed of ram on our imac so now if we go back into here and then go ahead and click on memory right here we will see that we have two sticks of eight gigabytes and we still have two empty slots if we want to add up to 32 gigabytes because this 27 inch imac does support up to 32 gigabytes of ram now like i said in the beginning this is a great way to actually save a couple hundred dollars opposed to going through apple's website and upgrading the ram through there so go ahead and check out the link down below now upgrading to 16 gigabytes i mean i want to do this because i just wanted more ram of course the more ram the better i do a lot of final cut editing and stuff like that so it helps if you have more ram so anyways guys go ahead and check this out in the link down below also go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video not only helps me but it supports the channel as well also go ahead and follow me on facebook and twitter for future updates and if you feel like being awesome and you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when i come out with all my latest videos anyways guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you all on the next one all right peace